all essential oils are powerful, powerful antioxidants, all of them. All of them are very powerful anti-inflammatories. And what's interesting is some of them have uh, affinities to different parts of the body, though. Like uh, uh, you take frankincense oil. You know, I, I keep going back to that one, but that one's kind of universally. Doesn't matter where that goes in your body, it's an anti-inflammatory. Uh, lavender, though, is excellent anti-inflammatory for the brain. Peppermint's an excellent anti-inflammatory for the muscles. Uh, rosemary, good anti-inflammatory for the circulatory system. You know, so um, they're all general anti-inflammatories, but they have, they do have affinities to different areas of the body. Great, thank you. And so now let's talk about frankincense. Then, why? Why is it such a potent herb? What's the original name of this herb? It, um, <clears throat> it's boswellia, and there's different boswellias. Boswellia is the Boswellia is the tree that they get the sap, the resin that they distill then to make frankincense oil out of. Um, and uh, they'll put little, little slits into the tree and it's kind of like the blood of the tree is what uh, uh, frankincense oil be is, you know, before they, uh, they distill it. It's the resin or it, it, it drops like blood from the, a tree the Boswellia tree, and uh, uh, it originally was something that people ate. They would eat a little bit of that, and when they did, it didn't matter what hurt, it went away, <laughs> you know, or what was bothering them got better. That was the, the original stories of, uh, you know, medicinal use of uh, Boswellia. Um, I use uh, Boswellia extracts extensively in my formulating. I use, use it quite a bit in a lot of my different formulas. And uh, we actually had, at one point, um, we're thinking about bringing it back. It was a uh, freeze-dried frankincense oil. Uh, so it was frankincense oil in powder form. So they freeze-dried it. And we, we were using that in a, in a formula for a while. Now, I have it in one of my formulas, but it's, it's not the base of the formula. Was it effective? Very amazing, amazing. And what it, kind of results? Um, as an anti-inflammatory. That's what the formula was for, was for inflammation. In, uh, we were using it for headaches, uh, joint aches and pains, back aches, yeah, arthritis, you know, knee problems. Uh, it just worked, you know? And then it, um, that particular formula, uh, the main reason for bringing it back wouldn't necessarily be for that particular anti-inflammatory effect. It had an amazing effect on the heart. And we were using it with uh, uh, folks with congestive heart failure. And it had a restorative effect on the heart. It was amazing. Mm. Amazing. Like what? what did uh, it would, uh, you know, in congestive heart failure, the heart swells up so much that it can't pump effectively. Okay, in uh, in essence, all that water when they, we gave them this extract would dry up, and their heart would reduce in size and go back to normal and actually start pumping regularly again. 